So okay, I, moving on to Michael R., uh, who was the only person to comment when I asked the peanut gallery where I should have you put the Adventures of Cerebus number 500 on my Pieces of Turtles 8.2. Uh, he said front. So front it is. I already told Eddie, so it should be on the list that way. Uh, it wasn't on the list, but the po uh, the post-it note that Roly put on your copies, uh, that was the only one that had the post-it note on the front. So Grandpa, Grandpa going, okay, uh, I might be reading this wrong, but I think if the post-it note is on the front, then that means uh, that's... That's where that's where Matt wanted that written. So basically, basically you got uh, you got it twice. You got uh, Adventures of Cerebus number five hundred, uh, number one out of seven, two out of seven, three out of seven, and a signature, the the box signature on the front, uh, Dave Sim six one twenty twenty two, and then I'm pretty sure I also signed them on the back and put their actual number on the back so you, 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 you got it you got it all covered there <laughs> okay uh, what, what was it I'm sorry I said okay thank you oh you're quite welcome you're quite welcome we can handle these special orders you know have it your way um, at Burger King all oh, right uh, Michael R the only one home in eastern Pennsylvania asks Hi, Matt. I hope you had slash have a wonderful Memorial weekend. Uh, that was just this past weekend, right? Yeah, I, I actually took off of work and, and spent time with the family and scanned a bunch of stuff for service because, you know, it's one of those... My mother-in-law was at the house, so watching TV was pretty much whatever she wanted to watch. So I'm like, I'm going to sit at the computer and do something that's quote-unquote productive, but only in my mind. And bought, and completely bypassing the uh, the Memorial Day weekend bucks that they were going to pay you at work. Uh, only two or three people signed up, and it was one of these where I'm like, I'd worked the past couple weekends. I'm like, no, no, I'm going to take this one off. Well, that's so. Uh, Saturday, the girls had. Uh, birthday party they had to go to and Paul had to work so I had to take him to the birthday party so I couldn't work Saturday Sunday nobody really wanted to sign up to work and then Monday the girls were in the Memorial Day Parade at 9 o'clock in the morning and it was like there's no way to get to work be productive enough to make money and then get home in time to get to the parade I'm like no nope, I'm just going to skip it this weekend and, but how about that it, how about I usually skip Memorial Day only because the girls are in the, the marches, Girl Scouts in the parade, so I have to go and take pictures. And it's kind of funny because uh, my phone goes, hey, you took pictures four years ago. You want to look at them? And I'm like, uh, sure. And I look, and one of, it, one of them it was Natasha was just young enough that she couldn't be in the parade, and her cousin was just young enough that she couldn't be in the parade. So I have a photo of the two of them with the Girl Scouts in the background where Janice is marching with Paula. And I'm like, well, that's kind of neat. I would say, I would say, I mean, you've got, you've got this whole Girl Scout history from, from pre-Girl Scout to Girl Scout to Girl Scout veteran. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and, and, that I do this. They're both, they're both still knee high to a grasshopper. No, 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 Janice is almost up to my mom's shoulder. My mom's 4'11". So. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, the the, the 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 old family, uh, all my cousins. It was you. You were a little kid until you were taller than Betsy. Right, right. The first time Four I foot eleven. Okay, all right. See, Grandpa is still going. Well, these are still the eye to a grasshopper. They don't they don't stay that size very long, Grandpa. So that's we went to visit my aunt and uncle and. They had kids late, and he's my youngest uncle on my dad's side. So his kids were babies when I was 28. And so we went to visit, and there's my cousin, Nicole. And she's, like, 
15 and a half, almost 16, and I'm going, no, 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 she's like only a foot tall. I, 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 and it's like, no, it's, you're not 28 anymore, Matt. You gotta remember, you, you know, when you get older, they get older. Yes, yes, and it's, uh, and it happens faster and faster the older you get, where you're, you're inclined to say to them, stop doing that. It's like shrink back to the size that you're supposed to be. You're 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 completely distorting reality. And it's like uh, no, the distorted reality is all inside your own head. Anyway, getting back to uh, Michael R. of Easton, Pennsylvania. Uh, hi, Dave. I know now you're in the beginning stages with a possible 1982 U.S. tour 40th anniversary book. But has there been anything going on with possible Can 10 Minds Kickstarter? Um, it's not Minds, is it? It's uh, 10, 10 is guys. Didn't I, didn't I already do mine? Oh, let me check the shelf because it's right there. All right. Let me... That's that. That's that. Come on now. Oh, sure, it's the bottom of the stack. Number nine is the last volume. Number nine was the last one you did. So then, yeah, ten would be guys. Okay. How to, how to go, Grandpa? If you got something right that the Michael R. didn't get right, which is which is really saying something. Yeah, I, I, I pulled out the guys' pages. Uh, it's one of those... Uh, I got to work out. There, there's logistics that I have to work out. The, the amazing folders that we send these out in, uh, we used up the last of those on Can 9. So now I have to decide, am I going to get enough for Can 10 and Can 11, which really fills up Camp David, I got to tell you. When, when, even when they're flat, and um, filling up Camp David is sort of happening on its own now. So uh, that's been delayed while Rolly is waiting until um, a, t a time when, uh, when he, he can get his, his, his friend who, who helps out around, uh, around Camp David uh, in the warm weather um, to figure out a better way to store stuff back there so that we have a little little extra room. Uh, part of me was going, well, okay, do, do Can 10 and just get enough folders printed to do Can 10 so you don't have to store any of them. But that's kind of an ineffective use of resources. You've already got this die that creates these boxes and uh, packaging to... Um, you're going to get a much better price for two Erebus Archive portfolios worth rather than just one portfolio's worth. What you're really doing is waiting for Camp David to get a little more organized. That's not going to happen until summer sometime. So uh, that keeps getting postponed. As far as I've gotten with it is that I do have from the off-site storage uh, the first 10 pages from guys, and I, I have looked at them and have pictured, okay, what is it that I'm going to be saying about these? And I have a ballpark of that in my mind. But going ahead on it, it makes more sense right now to be doing um, uh, the Pieces of Turtles 8 um, format, so part of me is thinking, maybe I'm not going to do issue four uh, can portfolios. Maybe I'll do issue four pieces of Turtle 8 format with um, 16 pages, uh, eight pages of commentary, eight pages of, of pages. And then I go, no, 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 they've got to be can portfolios. And then it's like, well, okay, I can't do can portfolios until we figure out the, the Camp David um, spacing problem and how many of these uh, I'm going to get produced. I have no idea what Packaging 2's backlog is 
on their cardboard stuff, which I imagine is huge because all of that stuff is huge right now. So, uh, uh, Michael, in answer to your question, uh, has there been anything going on with possible Can 10 Mines Kickstarter? We're not anywhere close to the Kickstarter um, situation. It's all just in Grandpa's head right now as Grandpa tries to move everything around and go, okay, what, uh, here's all my ducks. How, how do I get them in order? So, uh, nine was the last uh, can. Guys is volume 11, so mines would be the next one up. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's... Because that would make sense that guys is volume 11, so mines would be 10, which means you're going to have to get those pages. So I have to go back to mines. I can't go on to guys. I've got the wrong one. Michael R. is right. Mike's right. We're wrong. But at the same time, I mean, you could you could sketch out what you were going to... You could do the note pages for guys, have it ready, and then, you know, just put the pages back in off-site storage, get the guys' pages, do the same thing, and then hopefully by that point, Camp David's clean enough that we can go, okay, let's fill it up again. Right. Uh, this gets into uh, what, it, what is the ongoing situation at the off White House and with Aardvark Manheim. That doesn't make money. <laughs> that's, uh, that's stuff that you have to do to do to do to get to do to get to the point where you can get to the point where you can make money. And it's like, that's not happening, which is why I put together Pieces of Turtles 8, number one, in about... 48 hours, and Pieces of Turtles 8, number 8.2 uh, in about 48 hours, because then I was ready to make money off of them. So that's uh, that's the logistical problem on that one, is all of this stuff keeps getting, getting pushed down the line. The reason that it keeps getting pushed back into my head with the number four is, again, that seems like the most potential, potentially lucrative thing in terms of general interest. People who are only sort of interested in Cerebus, if they're really sort of interested in Cerebus, they're interested in the first 25 issues and the idea of getting a portfolio that's got, or two portfolios that have all of issue four, which is a big sentimental favorite, um, that the potential money coming in on that probably dwarfs everything else that I'm picturing, which is why that sort of has gotten um, dislocated in Grandpa's mind. Now it's, okay, what do I have to do to get um, a Cerebus number four portfolio in the on-deck circle as soon as possible and work on that and also work on the Can 10 Mines Kickstarter mentally. But Cerebus number four just uh, knocks that one completely out of the batter's box. Just dumps it right back from the plate. No, do the thing that's going to make money. Don't do the thing that is going to have people going, Mines, eh, I don't even remember, but Mines, uh, maybe I'll get that one, maybe I don't the only thing, uh, he goes on, the only thing I got from 1982 U.S. tour was that I was 15. And, oh man, this guy's a grandfather now, and not reading service. I started with issue 67 and never looked back. If you ever do a 1992 U.S. tour 30th anniversary book, I was at three stops. I believe you did a signing at Midway Comics on a Friday in Manhattan. Saturday was a comic convention, and Sunday you were in Staten Island, New York, at another comic store. I got a bunch of comics signed, bought page 20 of issue 159, and thank you for that. That, uh, that was $100 back in, uh, back in 1992. Um, 
which was a lot of money. And, well, I've got the pages out of order here. And a phone book or two, arg, but no photos. It's probably a good thing that you never relied on me to archive anything from way back then. Names and dates, um, what's that? Laugh out loud. I'm a little better now archiving my Sarah stuff and stuff in general. Michael R. So, uh, I would say uh, there, there's definitely far more 1982 U.S. tour stuff than uh, there is 1992 U.S. tour stuff. And the reason for that, the thing that there would be more of on the 92 U.S. tour is uh, um, the news clipping because we had a publicity firm, uh, Vikas and Levine in Chicago, and that's um, that's what they they accomplished. You, you hire people like that to get your name and picture and column inches in the newspaper. Um, that would that would be a logistical nightmare to take um, the Seattle Post Intelligencer full page uh, broadsheet and figure out how to either shrink that down or do everything at that size. Um, definitely wasn't thinking U.S. tour book uh, by 1992 because uh, never even got around to doing the 1982 U.S. tour book. Uh, didn't seem to be a demand. Uh, put most of it together and went, mm, this just isn't something that people are going to buy. So um, that's the reason that there'll probably be a U.S. 1982 U.S. tour book or probably not a 1992 uh, U.S. tour book. I think that covers that one. I think so, yeah. Okay. And thank you, Michael R., as always. Um, always a great pleasure to be signing a uh, something that we're selling you, in this case, Pieces of Turtles 8.2, to Michael R. of Easton, Pennsylvania. He, he specifies that he, that's what he wants on it, and he's always he's always number twenty six. Um, didn't get that sequential number, but he's got his can number um, number twenty six on there.